My name is Bart, and I married Athena. Actually, Mark married Athena. I was, um, I had the honor and privilege to, to perform the ceremony. It was 1986, and the Universal Life Church, for $15, I made myself a minister. Um, and there we were in the Japanese Tea Garden in Golden Gate Park, San Francisco. It was a lovely, foggy, cold, drizzly uh, day, just, just a handful of us. And without any invitation or notice, a busload of Japanese tourists arrived and um, stopped and unloaded and began taking photographs. So it felt finally like the paparazzi had come. Uh, it was a bigger wedding than Athena had planned, even Athena had planned. So many things I admired about the women you know so well. One trait that always stood out was Athena was always planning ahead. One thing that I continued to aspire to do. And um, she was very generous, almost to a fault. I can count the number of times she invited me over to share many spectacular dinners. I always had such a very high respect for her vast knowledge of wines, particularly red wines. She always chose great, superb bottles paired with her cooking, and so I became a regular visitor. She had good taste in big, red, warm, robust, lingering Barolos. Um, she was always giving. On one trip back from the mountains of Banicus on the Aegean, through miles and then crossing over the wide Atlantic, I was invited over to their home, and she proceeded to lift up what looked like an overstuffed attache case that must have weighed kilograms. And when she finally opened this case, out, sp out spilled many plastic bottles of this yellow liquid. It was, it was my addiction to... Um, olive oil. It started that, that day. And from then on, I always could count on some really good substantial olive oil from their, their gardens. Mm. I really liked that she was not afraid to voice her ideas. She was a strong woman. There's no limit to the amount of respect that I'll always hold for she and didn't know a lot about her professional life until today. Um, but I'm beyond um, impressed and privileged to, to have learned so much today. And I thank um, Andre and Mark and everyone else who put this together. Uh, she worked closely with people who are heroes of mine, who I read about, and today I've met a few. She introduced me to some amazing people, and uh, thank God I bought a boat. Because <laughs> a lot of people have been able to, you know, the boat pictures, that's, yeah. It's still floating. It sank almost about a year and a half ago, but we saved it. Today it's, it's um, a termite hotel. We're fixing that. Um, we, shared the, we shared the love of ballet. We, took, we even took classes together. Uh, she wore shirts from companies that she'd visited all over the world with Mark. She was quite the styling ballerina. Um, when I went to ballet, uh, so I went to class with her, and uh, she often offered to give me a ride, but I just couldn't quite get there on time. So, she, But she, the cancer took away too quickly. She introduced me to Clarity Foundation that improved treatment options for ovarian cancer patients, patients that um, actually be began in San Diego. Uh, she inspired me to learn more about uh, cancer, and I have a lot of respect for that organization, and we've given a modest donation in her honor, Mark. Um, and uh, I educated myself more about the illness, and uh, yeah. It's time for a radical change to take conceptual risks, shifts in dogma, a cataclysmic revolution in addressing, in addressing cancer um, that's, yeah. Athena touched us all, and I'm so proud that I got the opportunity to call myself her friend, and it's a pleasure to be here.